Good. E oh, that's. Oh wait, he didn't one shot me. But he's got a thousand hit points. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> the big one attacked me while I was in my inventory. What a dick. What's up, my doomed friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my last day on Earth survival let's play. Last video, we raided our AI neighbors. Well, actually, last video, we went to Bravo Bunker. The video that before that, I did them out of order, blah, blah, blah. How about this? The last two videos, we went to and raided our AI neighbors, and we also went to Bravo Bunker in the video before or after that. <laughs> I'm getting confused now and um we got a really we got a couple of really nice items from from bravo bunker and from the trader let's let's show you right here these are the two nice items we got now this m16 right here is just about toast you know what are you gonna do but this m16 is ready to rock i am going to get to level 58 once i'm level 58 i am going to make myself a nice set of swat armor and then I'm going to grab my M16s and I'm going to try out Alpha Bunker. It should be awesome. But that's not today. Today we are going to put down the chopper. All right. And we are also going to go to a red zone and see what we can find there. See if we can find some goodies in the red zone. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. All right. So first things first, we need to upgrade these floor, this flooring over here. I moved the chopper room out a little bit. Right. So we need to upgrade the flooring. And then we can put down the chopper. Um, there we go. Uh, works for me. Okay. Now we got our chopper down, people. All right. App apparently the chopper, you can finish it. Although I don't really know for sure. Um, so th these two items right here, I believe, are going to be the two hardest to find. Uh, this is the... Well, oh, God. I didn't know you needed 20 of the engine parts. Okay. That's going to be interesting, too. But the handlebars and the gas tank are going to be really hard to find. That's why when I was at the... When I was at my neighbor's, you know, AI compound and I saw these two, I really wanted to take them. But you cannot take them. All right. Well, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of stuff and put it in the chopper. I didn't look exactly at what I needed, so I'm just going to grab whatever. Um, I know I needed those. I knew I needed those. I don't know about that, but I'm going to take it anyway. Pretty sure you don't need any of these. Transistors might need some of these, some of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I know I'm going to need... Actually, what is this for the ATV? No, it's truck. Okay. So I'm going to need this wheel. I'm going to need another one of these wheels, by the way. Um, I've only seen one of these wheels. I wonder if they're I wonder if they're pretty rare. I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, what else? What else? What else? So this is the, for the truck. I think that is all we have for the chopper. So let's go throw this stuff in there and see how far along we are, right? Okay. So we only need 10 of these. So that's fine. I don't know if you need ball bearings for anything else. So um, probably do. All right, we got that. We only have one wheel. You can't drive a chopper on one wheel, people. All right, only two of 20. Okay, so these engine parts are going to be a, a bit of an issue, too. Also, all my rubber parts are going away. Should I put all my rubber parts in there? I'm going to put half of them in there because I might need them for other things like trading to the trader. Last time I traded at, last time I traded with the trader, he wanted rubber parts. So, yeah. Um, we could put all of these in there. And, okay, so we need more gears. Uh, backpacks are easy. I can craft backpacks. Oh, we need iron. Those iron thingy-mabobs. What are they called? Whatever they're called. I know they are over. Oh, boy. We got a fast biter. Well, soon he's going to be a dead biter. Can't bite stuff with no teeth, brah. Down you go. Give me your loot. There you go. Very good. Okay, so let's come on over here and let's grab our... Uh, what do we need? 30? Yeah, we'll just grab that. Okay. All right, all right, fair enough. So we got to keep a lookout for those engine parts. That's going to be our main, our main hang-up with this. Although we don't have enough tires or some other stuff too, but I think the engine parts are going to be the big deal. All right, so um, we need more bolts. That's fine. Engine parts. That's fine. One more tire and rubber parts are kind of a big deal for me. Um, it doesn't need any transistors. Okay, that's more of a electronics thing. But although there is electronics in, well, I don't know. Maybe there isn't a lot of electronics in motorcycles. I don't know. I, I don't know. But there's got to be some, right? Uh, yeah, so. All right, so let's throw this stuff back in here. There we go. That, and that stays with me. Okay, well, there you go. Um, everything's looking hunky-dory. All right, so um, what do we need next? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, I'm hoping to do this tomorrow, next video, uh, as far as our building thing goes. Um, I would, I want to do a little bit of building, and then I want to go out and do a little bit of farming every video. Kind of, not, not even farming, but going to red zones, like exciting farming, not going to like green zones or anything like that. Um, so I want to do a little bit of each every video, and I think tomorrow I will have enough to put down the ATV. And... 
I think the ATV is going to go down right here. And I'm probably going to move this, this zombie trap somewhere else. That's why I haven't trapped any more zombies. But the ATV is going to go down somewhere over here, I'm imagining. Actually, let's see if let's make sure we can put it here. Uh, we can't. Damn it. The ATV needs a 3x3, three three and I can't put a... See? No, no, something... There we go. Okay, I can put it here. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Let's play it out where the ATV is going to go. We might as well. All right. So first things first, let's go ahead and do a little bit more building right here. I think this is going to be a wall. Do I really need two of these? I can put a door here. Okay. I don't think I need two of these. Okay. And I'll tell you why. I think alcohol is not going to be used for bandages, uh, for first aid kits. And I will let you know why. And you guys let me know if you disagree. That's fine. But we're going to look at our two healing items right now. Okay. We have bandages. Bandages heal for 40. Okay. All right. Just keep that in mind. First aid kits heal for all. They heal for 100. But they take... Um, they take three bandages, all right? Three times four is 12. That's 120 hit points of bandages. These first aid kits are sucking up 120 hit points of bandages, all right? Not only that, but you never heal with a first aid kit from zero to 100 because if you heal at zero, you're dead, right? So you're probably healing at about 10 or 15, maybe even 20 hit points. So really, you're only getting about 80 to 90 hit points worth of healing from a first aid kit. And you're using 120 hit points of bandages. I don't see the reason for first aid kits. The only thing is, um, sometimes when you heal, the bar goes up. The bar goes up. It's not instant. So I'm thinking that maybe if, you, if your hit points are going down fast enough, a first aid kit might heal you faster than a bandage. But I don't think that's the case, guys. I'm sticking with bandages. All right. So because of that, I don't need alcohol. And because I don't need alcohol, I don't need... I don't need another chest. Um, I don't need another station here. One, one, um, one medical table will be fine. Now, because of that, I could put a door here, which is what I really wanted to do. I really wanted to put a door here. All right, so we're going to put a door there and a wall there. Now, let's go take a look on the other side. And I want a door here as well. Um, oh, that's, a that's a tough spot for a door, though. Because I'm only going to need one of these tables because these tables make nails. The workbench only makes nails. I don't need a ton of nails. So this workbench right here, can it'll be fine with just one. But I kind of want to put a door here. Maybe I could put the workbench... Maybe I could put the chest over here and leave the... Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. So what I'm going to do is this is going to break the symmetry of the build a little bit. But I don't think it's that bad. So we're going to put a door here. And I can come out here, right? And then, honestly, I don't even need a I don't even need a chest for the nails, right? I don't keep the nails here. Like this only makes nails, and I don't keep the I don't keep the nails here. So I don't even need a, I don't even need a chest here. That's fine where it is. Um, we even have another spot for another table over here that we might not need a chest for. Um, I think this is fine. It breaks, like I said, it breaks the symmetry a little bit, but it's really important to be able to get around my base easier. All right, all right. So that's done. That's good. And we're gonna put a door. Uh, yeah, let me think about how I want to do this. So let's, um, let's put this right here and put a door right there. This is going to be four over. Okay. So this is going to go here. Uh, so that, yeah. Okay. Here, 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 not over there, here, here, not over there. I said here, 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 and here. Then this will be a door. Right? This will be a door. This will be a window. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk in here. And this is... this this. Remember, you need three spots for the for the ATV. And the ATV will be right here. And it gives me a little bit of walkway up here. Maybe I can even put a back door in. I think that works out well. That's going to be awesome. Okay? So let's go ahead and grab some drink. And what we're going to do is we're gonna grab some drink here. We're going to grab these. We're going to take a shower. We're going to gear up. And then we are going to go to a red zone. Where's my shower? <laughs> Man, this base is huge. I love this base. It's awesome. It's awesome. All right. So let's go in here. Let's put these in there. I didn't bring any water for my shower. You son of a biscuit. Okay, guys. I think we're just about ready to go. I'm all geared up and ready to rock. Um, should be pretty interesting. The only thing I'm really worried about, like seriously worried about in the red zone, is this uh, thing called um, the big one or something like that. Um, the ground shakes when he starts coming at you. And he's like a giant red like mark on the map. 
So he's, he's, you know, he's not that hard to spot. So uh, if he comes at us, uh, I think we run because I think he's like a one shot kill or something. So we're going to, we're going to worry about him. But other than him, I don't think, uh, I don't think we're going to die. I'm not going to say it's going to be a cakewalk, but it should be pretty interesting either way. Now, the only way is, do I want to go to the forest one or the stone one? I don't think it really matters that much because I'm after uh, loot, not really resources. Um, but still, I mean, if I can grab some wood or some stone, um, I think I honestly need stone more. So let's run here. All right, there we go. All right, guys, red zone farming. All right, like I said, we just got to keep a lookout for the big one or the, the strong one or the giant one or the killer one. I don't remember what his name is, but <laughs> it's something one. There's something one. I, I'm pretty sure it's the big one, but I'm not positive. All right, so let's come on in here and let's see what's going on. First thing we have to worry about, I think, is spitters because spitters will try and uh, make you smelly so you can't, you know, sneak up on stuff. There you go. It's important to have shoes when you're dodging a spitter. He'll spit twice, then you can start hitting him. All right, and um, the reason it's important to have shoes is because shoes make you faster. All right? I mean, you can do it without shoes, but shoes make it easier. So, all right, is that another one? Yes, it is. Sometimes you'll get two at a time. If you get two at the same time, yeah, you might want to just run. Well, actually, maybe not. And th they'll hurt each other, too. See, he got me a little bit there. All right, there we go. All right, so we got hit a little bit with the spit. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Took a shower right before we came. I think now that I've gotten two of them, I'll probably be somewhat sick. Oh, maybe not. There's number three. They really do not want you. Oh, God. All right. All right, so the one spit twice. All right, I'm just going to attack. Watch out for the spit. Watch out for the spit. Watch out for the spit. Okay, so the second one that ran in didn't spit at all. That's interesting. I, I've never seen a spitter run in and not spit. So, all right, rabid wolf. It's a little bit tougher than a regular wolf, I guess, but not tough enough. Oh, he, oh, his buddy didn't like that. He's like, hey, hey, what are you doing there? I don't know why the, I don't know why the, um, the wolves are speaking like a uh, New York Italian, but you know, hey, yo, wait, that's my, that's my buddy. What are you doing? Forget about it. I don't know. You ever see Donnie Brasco? Great movie. All right. So let's look around here some more. Hopefully we don't have to do any spitters anymore. That would be just wonderful. Uh, my gear is very low. I don't know if you saw what I'm carrying with me. But my gear is very low. Actually, this thing's going to break. I'm not going to have this break in the middle of a fight. So we're going to switch right now. Probably at about one or two hits left. You know, that's not... No, you know, you might say, oh, okay, just one or two hits. That's a really good weapon. But it's not worth it to have it break in the middle of a fight. Just not worth it. And it definitely would have. Unless I, unless I sneak shot somebody like that. But still, not worth the chance. Believe me. Um, all the times I've almost, I've almost died or have died, it's usually because my weapon breaks. So, all right, what do we got over here? We got a fast biter. Anything over here? What do we got over here? Another fast biter. We'll take out this guy first. By the way, um, the zombies start to see you once they get inside this first circle, I believe. You see right there? He's outside the first circle. Uh, if he gets in that first circle, that's when they'll see you. Unless you're stinking. But generally, that's when you have to... Uh, that's when you'll get detected. Okay, so we're good there. We'll loot him in a second. All right, fast biters. Well, where's all the toxic abominations and stuff? Expected to see a little bit harder. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we got one. Toxic, speak of the devil. Okay, you. By the way, um, this food, this freaking corn, um, corn, what is it, corn stew or whatever? Um, this heals for half of what the what the uh, what the bandages heal for. I mean, the bandages heal for forty. This stuff heals for twenty. That's pretty. Pretty good stuff right there, man. That is, that is some good. E oh, that's. Oh wait, he didn't one shot me. But he's got a thousand hit points. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> the big one attacked me while I was in my inventory. What a dick. What a freaking dick. Um, an event. Okay, let's do the event. That sounds good. Let's uh, let's deal with the trader. I mean, normally I would stick with what I was doing, but first of all, he's close, and second of all, this is a good opportunity. Third of all, we might have to leave that area anyway because the big one might continue um attacking us i think we could beat the big one with with our best gear um he had a thousand hit points but he wasn't one-shotting me he wasn't hitting me for any more damage than the turret was in alpha bunker and i got past the turret um it's just a lot of healing so um i kind of want to get him maybe, you know what maybe next time i go to the red zone i'll gear up and, and fight fight him all right see what did i tell you what did i tell you about these things i told you 
All right. Five, eight, five. Okay, so we'll just bring everything we got. Rubber gears, wires, and bearings. Rubber gears, wires, and bearings. Rubber gears, wires, and bearings. I told you that rubber stuff was... He always wants it. Rubber gears... What did I say? Damn it. Now I forgot. Um, rubber, bolts, wires, and bearings. I don't know why I said gears. Rubbers, bolts, wires, and bearings. Rubbers, bolts, wires, and gear. Rubber, bolts, wire, gale. A galing? What the frig is a galing? I don't know. Bearings. Ball bearings. Damn it, Cage. Come on. Get your head in the game. Rubber, bolts, wire, bearings. RB... WB RBWB 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 How many did he want of the bolts? I, oh, he wanted 10 bearings. Son of a bitch. I'm pretty sure he wanted 10 bearings. I'm going to bring him anyway, but I'm I'm almost positive he wanted 10 bearings. God damn it. Ah, oh, sorry. God darn it to heck. I can't take them out of the uh out of this thing, can I? Once they're in, they're in. Yep, once they're in, they're in. That's why I couldn't take it out at that other guy's base. Well, I'm going to go back anyway, just in case it wasn't 10, but I'm 90% sure it was 10. Um, damn it. All right, well, let's let's go take a look. Just in case. That really sucks, man. One bearing away from getting another crate. That's why I got to farm materials. I got I to gotta stop farming stone and wood, and I got to start farming specific... Oh, we should just go there. Yeah, let's just go there. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive it was 10. Now, I'm going to watch the video back, and if it wasn't 10 bearings, I'm going to be a little upset, but I'm pretty sure it was. Now, this is guaranteed to give me a weapon of some kind. It's probably only going to be like crappy melee weapon, but still, a melee weapon is a melee weapon. Um, it makes it so I don't have to craft anymore. All right, what do we got here? All right, so we're pretty geared out, so we shouldn't have to sneak around in here. Come on. There you go. Come on. All right, level up. Um, oh boy, I'm full of stuff. That sucks. Okay, let's go ahead and eat all this. Let's move this over here. Eat more of this. Eat this. Um, destroy this. Put these on. Okay, that helped. That helped. What the heck is this? A regular zombie? What? What? All right, let's look in here. See what we got. Oh, man. What do you think I need to do to beat the the um the big one? What do you think? 1,000 hit points? Hits for 20 a shot? I don't know. Oh, I need those. Oh! You know what I was just thinking? What if he gave me the bearings I needed, but he didn't? Uh, take this. Yeah, that would have been awesome if he gave me the bearings I needed. Although, I don't know if I have time enough to get back anyway. But still... It would have been cool. So if you if you spot the big one at a ba at a, like an area, does that mean if you go back, he's always going to be there? Can I get back here? No, can't do it. Can I watch an ad? No, I can't. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Should we go back here? Or should we? Nah. I'm going to go home. I got to drop stuff off anyway. Oh God, this this sucks. See, this is where you really get screwed over by the um by this kind of stuff i'm out of stamina now well guys unfortunately i'm out of stamina so that means the video is over like i said these videos for this game are going to be hit and miss with the with the time with the uh the duration because if i run out of stamina you know I, I, I'm, I'm screwed um basically videos are over for the next few hours um so that kind of blows but um you know you guys seem to be loving it so that is fine i am going to call this one here thank you very much for watching i will see you next time and until then take it easy